Hi, welcome to my video here today. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is the conductor sizing uh, for transformers. So we're talking about electrical equipment installation. So we are gonna be in section 26 of the code book and you can reference down below all of the code rules that I'm talking about today. So as an electrician, right, we installed the transformer, we mounted up on our ready rod, and now we need to size the conductors or ensure that the conductors are sized correctly for the primary and the secondary of our transformer so that we're not gonna have any problems. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna cover two situations, one of them being a single transformer like you see here, and the other one being a transformer bank where there's a couple wired in parallel. And that'll look something like this. Um, once we get to that, we'll talk about that as well. But let's start here with this transformer. So talking about a single transformer. Now this one in our example today is a 20 kVA three phase transformer. The process is the same, um, no matter the size of transformer, it kind of goes something like this. So up here we have the primary of our transformer. So let's start there. So what the code book tells us is it says the conductor supplying the primary of the transformer needs to be uh, rated for at least 125% of the rated primary current. So the required opacity of our conductor is 125% the rating of the primary current. So we'll talk about this situation here. I've got a 20 kVA transformer, uh, three phase, 600 volts is my primary. Now, where we're gonna how we're gonna calculate that rated current is just by taking our formula. We're gonna use our S three phase formula, our apparent power for three phase, because we're talking a three phase transformer. Uh, we know that's E times I times root three. So we're gonna use that formula, transpose it, and that's how we're gonna calculate our rated current in this case. So that would mean that we would take uh, 20, thousand VA divided by 600 volts times root three. That gives us a rated current, the rated primary current of 19.2 amps. Now, we need that conductor to actually be able to carry 125% the rated current. So we're gonna take our 19.2 times 125%, and that is gonna equal 24.1 amps. This number here, that is the number that I'm gonna to use to size my conductor. So depending on whether I'm using copper or aluminum and my termination uh, temperatures, that's how I'm gonna determine what table and what column to size that conductor based off. That brings us down to the secondary. Now the secondary is actually the exact same process. So it tells us that the secondary conductors need to be rated for 125% the rated secondary current of the transformer. So do the exact same process, 20,000 VA divided by 240 volts. Again, we don't want to forget that root three because we are talking about a balanced three phase system here. Uh, and that is going to give us 48.1 amps. Now that's our rated current, right? That's the rated current of the secondary of the transformer. But we need to take that number, 48.1 amps, and multiply it by 125%, which gives us 60.1 amps. Now this number, that is the required ampacity or the minimum ampacity of our conductor in order to safely be uh, connected to the secondary of that transformer. So that's talking about a single transformer, very straightforward, right? 125% for the primary, 125% for the rated current of the secondary, and that's how we would size those conductors. Uh, just one second here, we are gonna calculate a transformer bank. Stick around. Okay, so now we're here with a transformer bank or multiple transformers connected in parallel with each other. 
which we know this bank of transformers, if I have 120 kVA and 110 kVA, this would be a 30, basically a giant 30 kVA transformer. So now we come into a couple different rules about sizing that conductor. Now we're going to be sizing this conductor up here. So we're talking about the conductor supplying a bank of transformers. This conductor here supplying this transformer and this conductor here supplying this transformer would be sized based off of the individual transformer. So we're talking about supplying the bank of the transformer. So that's our primary up there. Primary. So we're talking about sizing that bank of transformers, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look in the rule. Um, you'll notice now we're dealing with single phase transformers. So that's going to change our calculation a little bit. Uh, but what the rule tells me is when I'm feeding a bank of transformers for the primary, it says the sum of all of the rated currents of the transformer plus an additional 25% of the largest transformer. So I like to put that into one uh, rule and the way I read that rule or think about that rule, the way I do that calculation is I'm going to go 125% of the largest plus the rest of them, right? Or plus the remainder. Okay. So this is all based upon the rated current of the transformer. So in this case, because I'm dealing with single phase transformers now, I'm going to take that formula, S equals E times I. Knowing my voltage on my transformer, it's a 240 volt primary and a 120 volt secondary, so new voltages as well, I can figure out my rated current. So now in this case, I've done the math. On this transformer, I get 83.3 amps. And on this transformer, I get 41.7 amps. So those are the rated primary currents of the individual transformers. Now in order to do this calculation, I'm going to go eighty-three point three amps times one hundred and twenty-five percent plus forty-one point seven amps. That now is going to give me. I get one hundred and forty-five point eight amps. That is the rating or the minimum required ampacity of my conductor up here. So when I'm sizing this conductor. It needs to be good for 145 amps, 145.8 amps. Again, that's going to be determined by am I copper, am I aluminum, what are my termination uh, temperatures, what's my wiring method, uh, and then I'm going to go to the appropriate table and size that conductor based upon that information. All right, now I want to talk about the secondary of the transformer. So that's the primary, the secondary is easy. The thing here we have to remember is this only matters if the secondaries are in parallel like this. So because these secondaries are connected together, we need to apply the rule. If they weren't, if they were not connected in parallel and they just went out to feed separate loads, you would treat the secondaries as individual transformer conductors. But because they are parallel, so secondaries, secondaries, and I'm just going to put in What it tells us is it says it is the sum of all of the rated currents times 125%. It says 125% the sum of all the rated currents. So pretty straightforward. I'm going to figure out my rated currents based upon this formula. Uh, so my rated currents, I'm going to get 166.7 amps and 83.3 amps. So again, no root three because we're just single phase. I'm just taking, you know, my two for uh, 20 kVA divided by 120 volts and my 10 kVA divided by 120 volts. So that gives me my rated currents. Now all I do is I add them all up. So 166.7 plus 
83.3, and I multiply that by 125%. And again, you can check out the rules I'm referencing down below, but that gives me a required minimum opacity of 312.5 amps. This number right here is how much current that conductor right here, my paralleled secondary, needs to be able to carry. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the transformer overcurrent protection videos that I have as well. Um, have an awesome day.